In 2007, we proposed a new classification of NEVA based on clinical, dermoscopic and histopathologic features. In our view, the main nevus typologies described here are true independent entities with different epidemiologic and morphologic features and perhaps different implications on melanoma risk. For this system, we identified four main categories of nevi, each typified by specific global dermoscopic appearance. The first category is represented by globular congenital nevi. In the definition of globular congenital nevi, we include benign melanocytic lesions that are present at birth, traditionally known as true congenital nevi, or appear before puberty, traditionally known as early acquired nevi. The second category is represented by reticular acquired nevi. Reticular nevi are late acquired melanocytic nevi, most commonly seen in adults. They can be small, less than, si than 6 mm, or large, 6 mm or more, but usually they are less than 15 mm, they are sl flat or slightly elevated, brown to black lesions. Small lesions are usually symmetric and monomorphous, whereas they can be more irregular in shape when larger than 6 mm. The third category is represented by starburst spitz reed nevi. Starburst nevi are peculiar melanocytic nevi, usually acquired, that are seen in both children and adults. The most relevant and peculiar feature is the starburst pattern seen by dermoscopy. This is typified by multiple streaks of pigmentation or large globules arranged symmetrically at the periphery of the lesion in a radiating pattern like that of a star. Dotted vessels and reticular depigmentation are seen in non-pigmented spitz nevi as is the case here. The fourth category is represented by, by blue homogeneous nevi. Blue nevi can be either congenital or acquired and usually persists throughout the patient's life. By the naked eye examination, they are flat to elevated, blue to black papules, plaques or nodules or of variable size. Dermoscopically, blue nevi are typified by a homogeneous pattern of structureless blue coloration. The fifth category is represented by site-related nevi. Site-related nevi exhibit peculiar clinical dermoscopic and histopathologic features that are related to the specific anatomic structure where they are located. This table summarizes the morphologic features of nevi located on the face and on the palms and soles, the two locations where melanocytic nevi exhibit the most peculiar clinical demoscopic and histopathologic features. A more extensive list of site-related nevi should include nevi located on the nails, genitalia, umbilicus, and nipple. The sixth category is represented by nevi with special features. This group includes combined nevi, halo nevi, irritated nevi, nevi with eczematous halo, and recurrent nevi. This is an example of a combined nevus that is defined by the presence of two nevus cell populations. The most frequent combination is that one between a blue nevus and a globular congenital nevus, as is the case here. Here is an example of a Meyerson nevus or nevus with eczematous reaction in which yellowish crusts are visible both clinically and dermoscopically. This lesion refers to a recurrent nevus, also called pseudomelanoma, because of the striking similarity both clinically and dermoscopically uh, with uh, melanoma. Recurrent nevi are usually the consequence of a reactivation of residual nevus cells after incomplete shave excision. In these instances, complete removal and subsequent histopathologic examination is always mandatory. When a pigmented lesion recur, it is also important sometimes to review the histopathologic specimen referring to the original excision. This is the leg of a 56-year-old woman presenting with a, a new, two new papules appearing within and around the scar uh, referring to a previous excision. 
The original lesion was diagnosed as a melanocytic nevus by a previous pathologist, but the diagnosis was changed into melanoma by the reviewing pathologist. The two new lesions were thus excised and the diagnosis of recurrent melanoma was made with increased confidence. As we can see here, the demoscopic findings here are completely different to those of the recurrent nevus shown previously. In our opinion, recurrent nevi are characterized by a superficial proliferation of melanocytes reflected by the black structures seen by demoscopy. In contrast, recurrent melanoma is characterized by a deeper proliferation of melanocytes as reflected by the bluish colors seen in demoscopy.